Hello guys, welcome back to playing with Dragon Boy, and today, I am back, no wait, no I'm not back on anything, I am uh, on, I'm on a server now, a new server, thanks, Carnus Terra, yep, uh, and this is thanks to a uh, Matt over here, hello, ow, <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, well, yeah. welcome, welcome aboard, uh, this is formerly the Vintage B fan server, but uh, we renamed when we reset the map, um, oh gosh, how long has it been now? Like, four or five months, I think? I think, At this yeah. point? Um, but yeah, this is... This is the spawn area. The, uh, the spawn building is this humble little abode down here that was dug into the ground. All very nice. It seems you have a, uh, intruder here. I do. I have taken him down, however. Uh, so... We'll, we'll hit the nether a little bit later, but that's pretty much all that there is to down here. Um, I think eventually there's going to be some beacons coming up through where the the glass is, and this chest obviously won't be here. Yeah. Um, Valrotho, who is one of the three members of the server council, uh, so to speak, <laughs> um, it was working on this, and uh, I guess he got the, the basics done, and I'm not sure if there was a future direction plan for it, or if he just got sort of a shell and left it for, for others. I haven't talked to him about it. Yeah. Uh, this is like a lounge area. Uh, built by R. Jenkos, and his wife K. Jenkos, I think, was involved in this as well. It's very nice. Uh, can I get you something? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, what are the options? Uh, the options apparently are um, some sort of potion that I'm uh, spilling right now, apparently. Um, another potion, some <laughs> empty bottles, and some water, I guess. Oh, I don't I'll, even know. What are these potions? I'll take an empty bottle, please. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Potion of Strength 2. And that one went, I think, up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's up there. <laughs> it's not the best bar in the world. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to serve people when the drinks keep ending up on top of the roof. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Wait, where did it go? <laughs> you just need to climb this ladder for your drink. Yes. Yeah, so... Strength 2 on that one as well. You'll have to pay the ladder fee so we can buy a new ladder if it breaks. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then uh, over around the corner here uh, is the start of just a cleared out area, or part of a cleared out, partially yep. cleared out area, I mean, uh, that uh, we haven't done anything with. But <laughs> eventually, I think I might uh, pop into there to do. No! <laughs> to okay. do. Um, like a furnace room or something. Actually, yeah. over here, if we come back around this way, uh, this is where a lot of the some of the community stuff. Not a lot of it, but some of the community stuff is. We've got uh, you get your pumpkins are here. Uh, there's apparently exactly one melon uh, <laughs> at this point. There used to be more, but apparently all the the melons were Trampled. uprooted. Yeah. Uh, at some point, there's a cactus farm here. You just push the button, then it pops them all off, and then you just replant on the sand. Yeah. Um, Somebody uh, has gone through and planted a bajillion poppies <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> so that's a new feature well, within the past couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> it adds color uh, to the place. It does. It has, a red color, specifically. Yes, yes specifically. Uh, uh, so with community message board. Nobody's really been updating this recently, but you can always throw stuff on there. Uh, if you're there's something that you're working on that with a community interest... Uh, if you see that something's lacking on the tour and you're like, hey, the server needs one of these, you can come and uh, and oh, the, claim a sign and say you're going to do whatever. That poor um, pig over there is trying to commit suicide on the cactus. I saw that. He's like hopping all over the cactus. He's not particularly uh, intelligent, that pig. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, there's just some random storage stuff in here in case you need anything. Some potion, uh, potion stand for use. Ender chests are, like, all over the place. Yeah. Um, so if you're doing something for the community and you need uh, some supplies, there might be some in there. I think it's mostly ransacked at this point, but there might be some stuff left. Uh, in case you wanted to skip the night and you're around spawn, you can use the bed. Um, there's a little furnace room here. Uh, the advantage of using these furnaces, of course, is that it's in the spawn chunk, so uh, you can throw your stuff in there. Uh, to cook, and then you can actually log off, and it'll still cook for you. Yeah. And then there's there's enchanting here, and there's uh, a bunch of enchanted books people didn't want 
in the chest and some free lapis if you wanted to enchant stuff. Uh, so there's some stuff there. Um, in case you wanted to, they might be able to get some basic starter, like a pick or something out of there as well. Probably, yeah. Uh, let's see. Some leftover cookies and milk, I think from one of, uh, I think it was Daughter. Uh, so D-A-U-D-U-R is how her screen name is spelled. I think yeah. she left those for everybody, so you can grab that for, why don't you take a, uh, like a half a stack of cookies for food as we move okay. around. Yep. This is so uh, weird, actually, being on the server. I'm just, like, I feel like I'm watching a video right now of yours. <laughs> yeah, that was how I felt when I first joined the server, like, two maps ago. I was like, I've seen this in people's videos. Uh, we got community pigs. We got community chickens. The chicken farm is actually disabled. None of the chickens are in the the thing because there's, like, double chests worth of, of feathers and oh, yeah. tons, of, tons of chickens. So we... Somebody went in and slaughtered the, the seed chicken, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, you can get some uh, snow blocks here if you want. Snowballs from there. Mm -hmm. We got uh, the barbecue is here at the moment. I eventually want to move it over, I think, across the bridge, which is where we'll head next. Okay. Um, but uh, I have not done that yet. So you can grab some beef as well if you want. I, okay. Um, I'll probably just grab what's here now. And uh, All right. I'll breed those guys later. All right, so let's pop across the bridge. I'll show you a couple of things that are available over there mm -hmm. from a community perspective. So up ahead on the left is the barely started <laughs> uh, <laughs> AFK sheep farm that Snow and I were going to be working on. But Snow has apparently been very busy in real life, so he hasn't uh, had an opportunity to get on and apply the you know the facade yet yeah um so I'm, I'm thinking i'm gonna try to come back to this uh sometime in the next couple of weeks try and get at least get it at least functional if not looking pretty uh yeah. but we'll see uh but in the meantime volrotho built this little underground skittles box uh, that you can come down here if you need particular wool colors um it's pretty if you want to get it all in bulk, Oops. you know, you can run through, shear them all, and then you flick the lever here, and it pushes okay. all the, the the wool into this just... streams, and then they get collected over there. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, and then whatever's been collected already goes in the chest, so if you got extra, you can throw it in there as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I did turn it off, but they did not turn off. That's, uh, hmm. um, there may be some redstone glitches now, bugs. Uh, I remember seeing, I think in the video you showed this off before. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, it was working before the video you showed it off in the first time. Yeah, apparently the, the lovers are supposed to be down, not up. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just was messing up which order they need to be in. All right, up the top here. We can go around the corner here, and here's the reed farm that I built. Uh, it was somebody else's design. I forget who was working on it. D Rock Project maybe did the this whole like V shape thing, and then I just moved it over here and encased it in the building. And there's a daylight sensor that causes it to uh, push out the reeds every night whenever the chunks loaded. Yeah. Uh, so there's quite a bit of free sugar cane in there. And then over here, the community farm, Justin. Uh, Tex was uh, working pretty hard on this, and all of these chests are pretty much guaranteed to be full of whatever item, except for the poisonous potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> um, of whatever item they're labeled for, and whenever you take stuff out of there, it automatically refills from an overflow chest area. I think the chests are stacked like six or seven high in there, and they're all connected with hoppers, so it all just keeps flowing back down to the bottom. Yeah, that's a, a lot of food in there. When it harvests, it, it collects significant amounts of uh, of crops each time you harvest it. I don't know if it's even been harvested for months and it hasn't run out. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, what else is there to poke around at here at Spawn? Spawn's, um, a, Spawn's a bit laggy, isn't it? It is. It's Minecraft. What can you do, right? Yeah. Um, it's like where the main things are built and all the functional... Kind of yeah, build. I'm not sure what causes. I don't know if if there's lag from 
Because I'm not, it's not as laggy over here. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I think my, what I use for recording DX story, I think it tells me what huh? the FPS is I'm getting. Yeah. Uh, where, but where's the FPS? Yeah, it's, it's telling me what I've got right now. So, right now I've got 20. Yeah, that's about what I get around here. And sometimes it dips down as far as 10. So, well, yeah, it's, it can be bad around spawn. I don't know what the, what the deal is. Everybody has that problem though. And I know that. Folks that have much better computers than I do have a uh, problem with uh, laggy frame rate at spawn. Uh, these uh, sp giant spruce trees are available community as well in case you needed to hack down a bunch of wood. Yeah. Uh, so I'll take I'll show you off my base a little bit, and then we'll go take a look at the Nether. Uh, this tree here it belongs to Munchmo. Uh, he's also an L peer, you can find him at uh, at Munchmo on YouTube, and he also built the uh, mob trap that you see over here. So what? if you need any mob drops, he's got them pretty much all set up over here that you can grab them. Yeah. Or it auto sorts, and you can just grab whatever you need. Does it have witches in it too, or something? Or yeah, witches will naturally spawn now pretty much anywhere. Oh, uh, so occasionally okay. it catches one. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Not a very high rate. He actually, over off in that direction somewhere, he's got a, an actual witch farm that he built where there there was a witch hut. Yeah. Uh, and it was getting pretty decent rates, too, I think, the last time I saw. I'm, I'm behind by quite a few videos, I think, at this point. Uh, let's see. Where's I don't think anyone thing? will mind if I'll, I take this half-broken iron sword that was in that chest. <laughs> yeah, I think that is. You are more than welcome to it. And let's pop down the uh, the walkway here, and we'll pop up on my base, and I'll show around. The, for all I know, there's all sorts of crazy rotten flesh stuff going on up there. I see. The yeah, the uh, uh, you are not alone thing. Yeah, I'm sure. Now that that well, for one thing, I I circle around here to the back. There is a. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Dang. Sorry. <laughs> I might want to eat now. <laughs> There's a there's a fence post here, just a random spruce fence post that I certainly don't remember putting here. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Although I'm wondering now if maybe whenever um, Valrotho was getting Epona in the box, in the Christmas gift box, yeah. I wonder if Epona was leashed there temporarily before heading up the mob evader. So hop in the boat. Okay. And Whee. I will follow you up. <laughs> Do you think the boats are going to collide and then break? Uh, possibly. <laughs> well, boats are the most buggy thing about this game. I really wish that they would spend some time fixing boats. I mean, the least favorite thing that I have... Well, it used to be uh, lily pads that I hated. Uh, I'm trying to... Now, uh, when I'm fl or going around in the ocean... Oh, oh, snap, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. You know, you're, you know, you're still alive. I haven't gotten a death message, so... I thought for sure I was dead. I, I got out of that... Or the boat broke, and I fell right through the platform, all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> oh, that... It, not even on the slime, or just... No, just... No, I was outside of the, the column. <laughs> I was, what? like, out, out in the middle of the walkway. Yeah, I glitched right through the slabs up here, I guess. That was pretty crazy. Did you take any damage, or did you just... I went down, I think it was like four and a half hearts, which I was surprised that's all it was. Yeah. I would have expected more than that. Oh, these are new. The Oxide Daisies that are here. Although, the... I'm wondering if Vol dropped these by. Because you had the uh, banner? Because I borrowed one? Yeah. That's pretty funny. Let's, let's take a look inside, see if there are any messages or anything. Hmm, I don't see any... Rotten flesh sitting out and about. Let's see what's what does the rotten flesh box have in it? Uh, it's all the same. There's 16. You are not alone. Rotten flesh. Yeah, that that was. I think that was there collected from other places. I don't see any new messages in there. Anything in the furni? No. Maybe maybe it, there's no uh, maybe there's no new you are not alone related stuff going on. It's possible. I mean, the ox eyes are cute. <laughs> yeah. Pop I, up here. I just looked at the uh, 
I don't know what to call it, the shrine that you come up on with the boats, and I thought it was like an Octorok from Legend of Zelda for a second. <laughs> That's what it looked like for a moment. Yeah, Pona's still hanging out. Yeah, all of this seems... All of this seems pretty much undisturbed. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can see my little platform that I normally tree farm on appears to be completely covered in oxide daisies at the oh, moment. Oh, well, we may have just both have two sides of a prank <laughs> recording, I guess, if you're recording. Yeah, I guess. What do we got? Uh, hey, Matt, we heard that you needed some oxide daisies. We thought we would be good neighbors and drop some <laughs> off. Ball and Suranani. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never run out of oxides again. Oh my gosh, holy moly. That is a lot of oxide daisies. Did they sit there and farm all of these? or did... They must have. Well, you know what? I mean, they had quite a few. By the time I actually found the chest that had them in, there were quite a few there. So, uh, I'm sure that it was not too difficult for them to, uh, yeah. to come over and place them. And I think they have a, like, a flower farm thing somewhere. So that, that is hilarious. That potion thing over there, is that, that was Etho's design, right? That is an Etho design, yeah. I th I'm pretty sure he did a dedicated tutorial video for it on his channel. Uh, and I think he used it... I think he did the tutorial video first, and then he put it in his treehouse on the Minecraft server. Yeah. I don't um, usually look at tutorials for these kind of things, because I generally tend to not do very well with redstone. Yeah. I'm not a redstone person yet. I... Hope to be one day, but I've moment... got almost a stack of oxides just from that like two or three rows that I knocked <laughs> down. Holy moly! It doesn't even look like that much at first. I mean, no, it doesn't. That is a lot of oxides. Thanks, Volunteer Nani. I <laughs> appreciate it. Let me put these in the flower box. Do you have your clouds off in your videos? Because I've got clouds in my face right I now. I do. Yeah, I don't like the clouds. Uh... I generally leave clouds off whether I'm recording or not, just because it's inconvenient I wonder if it causes lag as well maybe uh, Just having possibly them. not not a whole lot I wouldn't imagine but I'm sure it's I mean it's a graphical component I'm sure it contributes oops oh <laughs> well <laughs> bye <laughs> now I'm at the bottom should I join that or... concludes our tour of my base <laughs> yeah. yeah you can um, come on down Plink. can you imagine if you still took falling damage from falling in water yeah, I, I'm glad that they made... I mean, the the way that they had it before made a little bit more sense, I think. But it's certainly much more convenient to have it the way that they have it now. Yeah. Because I remember there used... Yeah, like you said, there used to be a time where you had to... There was, like, a certain amount of water per block that you fell. It's like, for every ten blocks you fell, you needed two blocks of water or something. Yeah. There was, like, there was, a, there was a pattern or a, a formula or something that you could follow. Uh, let's see... Not much else has changed around spawn recently, so I think, uh, you know, from my latest videos, you've seen pretty much all there is to see here yeah. at spawn. Uh, now, things did change a little bit in the nether. I'll, we'll go take a look at that, since I was in there last on camera. Because I believe the nether portal was moved up. So we'll pop in here and take a look. Hopefully we don't have any angry pigmen. I think what the cause of that is, is because I noticed that once I had a blaze shoot a pigmen, and they all got angry at me, and not the yeah, blaze. Yeah, they'll do that. So, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if you watch him, but I've been watching uh, OMG Chad, and he's been wondering why the pigmen are angry at him, and I think the blazes are just attacking them, and they're getting mad at him. Yeah, if they get hit by by a blaze, or by a, like a, uh, the regular skeletons, if they uh, shoot an arrow... And they hit a pig man, they'll get upset. They yeah. don't get aggroed by ghast fireballs, though. That so. yes, that makes perfect sense. They get angered by everything else except for ghasts. Yeah, don't try to play logic to Minecraft. Uh, we're not gonna. Well, actually, let's go ahead and take a, a walk down this way. I was gonna say we're not going to, but I haven't seen if Mike has done any more progress on this yet. I think it's this one. Um. There is, Mike Vito is working on a uh, amusement park area. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, this is the one. And there are mobs, and they want to kill us. I'm just going to stay away from that creeper. I'm afraid I'm not, I won't be able to kill it quickly enough from... Yeah, I don't want to accidentally grief anybody. 
Especially yeah, this is not particularly well lit up. Uh, so we'll t just take a quick look. You can see the. Oh, watch out behind oh. you. Nah, oh, that's fine. Not be there. <laughs> well, it was my fault. I walked in front. I'm gonna. There we go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can. I can easily get back. It's just. Yeah, I'll just meet you back. <laughs> I'll meet you back at that spot. Um. That was my fault. Just pop back into the Nether, and I'll meet you at that Nether portal. I skillfully avoided the. For a second, skillfully avoided the baby zombie and then got shot, and then I didn't avoid the zombie, so... That was pretty impressive. Yes. There are so many random mobs in the nether around here. There's a sheep there. I think, I, yeah, there's a rabbit. <laughs> they must have come through the portal from the amusement park. I, I but anyway, know. we saw the amusement park. I don't want to go back through there. Yeah. Night. Um, but that, uh, that castle is pretty epic, and I think took quite a bit of uh, time spent at the Guardian Farm getting the Prismarine for it. Probably. Which brings us to the second topic, which is the Guardian Farm is off in this direction. Uh, basically, you just go over there and climb a ladder, and uh, you can AFK and let the uh, little Guardian guys die, and they'll give you Prismarine shards, and you can craft your cool new blocks with that, all automated. So... Uh, I don't think anybody's currently doing anything with this. This was originally part of a Nether Hub idea, I think. There's an elevator down there, but the slime block elevators and, and multiplayer don't tend to play nice together. Yeah. So, so I don't think anything new has been done with that. This ladder um, out there, the ladder out there scared me real bad because I was shifting and I apparently was on the ladder and I went over the edge of the block and I was like, wait, no, 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 no. Floated into space. Um, let's see what else. We got the, the pigman farm is off in this direction. You take the... Oh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, you take the uh, the rail line and it zigzags your way over to the pigman farm, um, and uh, I think I've shown that in video. It's pretty self-explanatory. You shoot a snowball at the guy that says "throw a snowball at me," and then all the pigmen try to get at you and they die and drop XP in the process. So that's a good place to level up, get your enchants going. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. Oh, actually, down the ladder here is where the original uh, spawn portal came out and uh, there's a nether fortress right here at spawn in the nether so if you get to a point where you want to hunt wither skeletons this is the area that you'd want to do it in yeah so uh, do you have any ideas on the sorts of things you're interested in building or the sorts of things you're interested in doing on uh, the server I'm not too sure yet uh... I originally was doing, planning on just doing a single player series, and I was going to have my stuff on that, but I decided that single player got a little boring for me sometimes. I liked having the other people to interact with. I don't yeah. Have, I don't have a specific idea for what I want to do. Uh, it might just be a bunch of random builds and then, you know, like a home base, but... Sounds good. Shouldn't be too hard to find somewhere to build. We used to have a world border thing going on, but that has been disabled for a while now so you can explore to your heart's content and find yourself a spot um you know just check out the immediate area and make sure that nobody uh, has claimed it uh, but it shouldn't be too hard to find anything well if i do it'll probably be relatively close to other people because it may as well just be a single player if i go too far out exactly yeah i agree but yeah, this is the Wither Skeleton hunting area. The Wither Skellies can't get up on the half slab area because it's uh, too too small a space. That's so convenient. So you can just sort of hang out on the edge here and kill the Wither Skeletons as they spawn. What is this? This little over? safe ear area here. You can go in this little chamber here to AFK. Uh, there's a rail line that lets you zoom far enough away to, to... despawn mobs. Yeah. Because you've got a lot of blazes or something you don't want to deal with. And that's about it for that, I think. Um, yeah. I think that that's all the highlights. I mean, there's a bunch of folks' builds around there. Um, I went and checked out Valrotho and Soranani's places last time, last episode. Um, so, you know, I recommend checking their place out in person if you'd like. I uh, probably got to figure out where everything is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where half of the folks on here have built their stuff. Um, and there's a bunch of folks that 
I see on here that I don't know how much of an actual like presence they have if they actually have bases built. Yeah. Or if they've just sort of been on doing you right. know, whatever. Yeah. Um Unfortunately, you know, Wednesday nights, which is when I usually have an opportunity to record, not many uh, there's people. not a whole lot of activity uh, Wednesday evenings. So I guess oh. we got to climb back up to get to the portal down. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I know that uh, Nihon still is on here pretty regularly. I know Munchmo's on here pretty regularly. Uh, I see Vol uh, a decent amount. Jimbo is a name that I've seen quite a bit uh, recently. So it's uh, and there's uh, a bunch of other folks that have come on just within the last week or two. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you'll get to to see them around. And uh, I guess that's that's about it in terms of the tour. Is, do you have any questions, or are you just good to go? Uh, questions wise, there's probably like, is there any specific like are there rules that I that aren't like common rules that everyone should know? Uh, I mean, it's the basic sort of stuff, uh, you know, briefing is not, uh, is yeah. not cool. Um, if you're using a spawner that doesn't auto-kill, like there's a zombie spawner, at the community message board there's, uh, coordinates to a zombie spawner that was set up early in the map. I don't think anybody really uses it these days, because the pigman farm, uh, is a lot better. Yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, if you're using a spawner like that... Uh, where the mobs can build up over time, and then you kind of just go over and punch them or throw potions at them or whatever. Uh, you can't let them build up to a ridiculous amount. Because uh, it they would cause, cause lag. Exactly. It cause lag, and, you know, for you and for anybody else that might be in that area. Um, so that, you know, if it, brings, if it brings the game to its knees for one or more other individuals, then that's, that's a problem. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of anything else. It's... You're just your basic, you know, fun-loving community. Just uh, treat everybody the way you wanted to be treated, and uh, things go well around here. Everybody's very nice. Uh, I've not had any drama with any of the folks on here, which is particularly nice to know because it's hard to find an internet community these days that is drama-free. It is. Uh, but these folks are they are really awesome. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so now what? Uh, I am going to get you some starter gear. Oh, my, my boat is doing weird things. Go. Uh, it thought I was up at the top, but I... Whoa. Oh, uh-oh. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing that happened to me. I broke your boat while you were in it, and it sent you straight down through the the platform. My bad. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Why don't, I, why don't I just bring you some equipment? How's that sound? <laughs> Uh, or, or we here. could just, you know, swim up, because that's probably safer at the moment than having two boats on it. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. Why don't I grab... I'll get you some leather gear for you now. I want to put a sign on there that says, Warning, not built for two boats. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Need one more. Wow, I'm low on the leather. I gotta get... I gotta get some more leather from the cow farm. So that's a good start there. I've got your iron sword that you lost. So I'll give that back to you. Let's yeah. see here. Uh, grab you one of those. Let me make a few other tools just to get you started here. Oh, my iron's all in a different box. Is there actually an um, iron golem farm? I know those are kind of hard to set up. But... There is one. I don't think it's active right now. I don't think there's sufficient um, villagers in it. Yeah. Uh, but there was one set up early, which is where I think all those poppies came from. <laughs> I think that they were part of the uh, part of the output from the iron farm. Yeah. Uh, and I'll show you where that is near spawn, but you'll probably have to ask around to see uh, who is doing anything with it. Uh, if anybody. Okay, I think that's everything you need. So here, let's, uh, let me throw you some stuff. Here's some armor. Thank you. Here is a few tools and whatnot. Oh, let me get you a bow. I think I've got a, uh, a bow that I can give you. I've got tons of bows, actually. I think you gave me let's... two, uh, pants. Did I give you two pants? What was missing in the... The, the tunic or whatever. The, the chest plate? Oh, the I mean, and I made a pair of pants. Wow, that was ridiculous. 
And I don't. <laughs> Alright, let me. Let me make you. I'll make you an iron chest piece. <laughs> that way you'll be in, in a little bit better shape. That was hilarious. I can put the uh, pants on my chest, but it probably won't work very well. <laughs> that doesn't seem very effective. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to get you a bow. And I'll get you some. Here's a stack of arrows. And you might want to get that do... checked. You know, shooting arrows out of your and bows out of your mouth is not <laughs> not a very good sign. Uh, where the heck did that? <clears throat> oh, that's weird. I didn't realize I had another. I had. A, I have a backup diamond sword in this chest, and I didn't realize I even had it. Hmm. I want you to take these guys too, just in case. Okay. Thank you. So I think that's pro. Oh, you know what? You might want some f more food too. Here's the cookies you dropped. And let me hand you. Uh, I got a ton of cooked fish there. That'll probably, that'll that'll be enough to uh, to get you started in the world. I think. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I would love to uh, to collaborate with you on some stuff on here. Whenever, uh, if you have any ideas or whatever, uh, it's it, it's going to be fun times. Yeah. I think much better than what happened on my other server, mainly because I think everyone, even though it was a server, kind of just went and did their own thing, and there was no, like, hey, guys, let's build a community thing first, and... Yeah. Not the best built kind of server. It wasn't the... Well, it's hard to come by. I mean, it's... It, I'm really glad that, uh, that folks are pretty involved on this server. It kind of... It comes and goes in, in uh, waves. Um, but, uh, but generally there's, it's rare that I come on here other than when I'm recording because I record at a weird time, so yeah. I'm on when I record, but, uh, it's, otherwise it's fairly rare that I'm on here that there is a, at least one or two other folks doing something. Yeah. All right, I'm going to drop these boats in the thing and, uh, I will let you go run off and explore and do whatever you feel like doing. I'm not too sure where to start, though. Well, let's see. I mean, do you have... Is there, like, a biome that you think would be cool to find and, and uh, build in, or...? I mean, I suppose... Or are you just basically looking for unclaimed territory? I don't know if... I was thinking that uh, I prefer to have, like, underground kind of bases. Mm, okay. Like, uh, you know, like, how Etho had the man cave he made? Yeah. I prefer to have those kind of builds. Okay. So, I mean, honestly, if you don't need it, Go. I could probably just build underneath the ocean underneath you and just not break the sand. Because I'd prefer to be near someone who's at least... Right. So, uh, no, I don't know. There's... I think... Okay, you see this birch forest off there? There's like a hill that's not actually lit up at all. Yeah. I, I think you could probably do some stuff under there. I don't think anybody's got any part of that claimed. There's It's near the um, where the iron farm was set up, but I think it's off to the right. I don't think you would intersect with that at all. Is so it, that's an option. Is it the one uh, over this way, or is it this one in front of us? Uh, the one that's the one that's like over where the sun's setting would be nearer to the iron farm. The one over further to the right uh, is even less likely to, to hit anything that I'm aware of. Okay, then but, I'll, uh, I'll you know poke use around that. if you run into something. Nobody's gonna to lynch you for accidentally digging into their cave or whatever. Yeah. So well, whoop, uh... down I go. <laughs> so yeah. So thanks for uh, giving me a tour of the server. Sure thing. And if yeah, you, you have any questions, feel free to you know send me a Skype message or whatever, and uh, be happy to help you out. And I'll I'll get you into the group chat. And uh, and you can always post questions in there if you uh, if you're feeling lost or whatever. They're they're a helpful bunch of folks. Okay. All right. Well, uh, guess I'll see you later then. All right. Have fun. See you later, man. Yep. Okay. We we'll probably want to end the call because it would be weird if I kept it going. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Just slightly awkward. Yep. Yeah. Bye. All right. I'm going to kill my recording and see you, man. See you. Okay, guys, so that was the, uh, tour of the server. Uh, 
I am very excited to start this series. Oh, oh, creeper. Uh, no, why don't you go somewhere, sir? Creepington? Go away, creep. Creepington! Leave! Leave! Bad! Kill yourself on this cactus! Commit suicide! There you go! Have a night- No, he, he's got out! Okay, um... I actually might go sleep. In a bed, somewhere. Uh, I think there's a bed up in Matt's base I can probably use. And then, after that, I'll probably go to a sheep's, go to a sheep farm, and that sheep farm that he showed us on the tour, and sleep in that, or not sleep in the sheep farm. That That's probably not the best sleeping condition. Uh, get some wool and sleep in a bed that I can make in place kind of under the mountain now. So... I think that's where I'm going to build. But yes, I am really excited for this series, as I was saying before. Why am I... Stop. Stop, boat. I am really excited for this series. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with everyone on the server and just having a good time. So... I expect this to be like a constant series. That Oh, spinny spin boat. The spinny spin boat. Stop spinny spinning. Okay, we'll just sit here and move up very slowly. Because I moved around while it was floating. At sure! You're, you're here now. Okay, hop out. And jump. So I'll probably just sleep into this. Oh, what was that? Oh. Okay. And sleep. So, uh, this is probably going to be it for this episode. Uh, I hope to soon start setting up a home base underneath the mountain. Maybe we can do a dwarves kind of theme. I don't know. Got some things planned. Uh, sure, game. That's okay, I don't understand why I died there, but let's go back down and pick up my stuff. Uh, excuse me? Okay, maybe we'll just gracefully bounce and then survive. Because I much... I much more approve of survival over not surviving. Because not surviving is not fun, and, you know. Okay, uh, so probably next episode we'll start getting set up on the... Oh, I will need that stuff. On my home base. And as I was saying before, before I got interrupted by that... That... I don't even know how, how I died. It's all slime. I'm just that skilled. It's been a long time since I played Minecraft, guys. I'm going to have to get back into the groove of things. Uh, so I'm probably just going to build kind of like a... Maybe a dwarvish, dwarven, however you prefer to call it by. Kind of like that kind of build, a mountain of sorts. And, yeah. So that's the plan. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, enjoyed it, not enjoyed it, I don't know what that means. Enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. And, oh, creeper, don't do that. Mr. Creepington, I told you. Was there a creeper? Uh, maybe I'm just seeing things. Um, that'll be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. And uh, if you have any ideas for the base, the home, uh, or anything you want to see in this series, uh, please also leave that in the comment. I mean, I, I know I say leave things in the comments all the time. and uh, You know what? Cre or skeleton. But that's kind of just like a general whatever comment. But yeah, if you have any ideas, please leave that in the comments. And... I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.